Hello guys, I am Flippy, and today I am bringing you guys an MC PvP Hunger Games gameplay. And today I am the kit Viper, which is definitely one of my favorite kits. So I start off by chasing this guy. He doesn't look, look like he has a sword, so I just chase him down and take him out right here. Easy, easy kill. So I just organize my inventory, which I shouldn't do that often because it wastes a lot of time in the beginning of the game that I could be killing people. So I end up running off to track someone. There's a guy right there. Oh no, he's coming after me. Stone sword. Oh no, I vipered him. Oh no, I'm souping. I'm hocking. And I take him out. Oh, also for you guys, um, when I say um, you take him out, it's basically my impersonation of Attack 1421 because he is awesome. And I don't know, I just love to say it's fun to say. And I take him out. I don't know, just fun to say. Don't judge me. So anyways, I end up tracking this guy, and then it looks like a huge team, but I don't care, I just go at it. And I end up fleeing, and I try to get them to go after this guy. I have no intent on killing that guy, or going after him or anything, I just want them to get away from me. So an ex-proto, I'm familiar with him, I've played with him several times before, so I completely recognize the name. And then it's a team of three, so I know I can't take them, and I only have one soup left. So I run away. I am terrified right now. I just want to get out of sight of them. I'm not even going to try and resoup and turn back and fight. So I'm running off. And I turn around to see if they are chasing me after I resoup. And are they? Are they? They are kind of. But then they don't go after me. So I am crouching right behind the dirt blocks over there. And I'm like watching. I feel like I'm witness witnessing like a... Some like a bunch of people like killing this guy. I'm just like watching, not calling the cops or anything, and I'm just terrified, just hoping they don't see me. And then I see Exproto, he sees me, so he starts chasing after me. And then I fight him back. He tries to run, but no, no, no one tries to kill Flippy and gets away. So I kill him, and somehow I end up getting an Ender Pearl. I don't know if one of his teammates was a jumper or what, but I was very happy to have this. So a little while later, I end up tracking these two guys in this ravine. So I go so you can get a better look of them. And I see them in there, but it's too dark. So I don't really want to go running in there. Because then I won't be able to see, and neither will you guys. So basically, I just run away. And <laughs> there's a little ocelot just swimming in the water right there. So I just run away. Not that I'm scared. I just, I'm just trying to get them into the sunlight so I can actually see them when I'm trying to hit them. So and I end up chasing this guy back. But of course, he runs back to his cave. And then I realized I can see them kind of, so I might be able to take them out. But luckily, right as I go into attack, they put something in the furnace. Thank God. If they didn't do that, I definitely would have died. Because it was pretty dark in there. So I end up taking one of them out right there. And then I end up taking the second guy out. It was pretty easy. I'm not sure. I don't really think they were hawk here, so they were in much of a competition. So then I am back at the surface again. I had no soups, maybe like one or two. So I get a bunch of mushrooms, and I go tracking this guy, and I'm looking everywhere for him. And then I fall, wait, 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 I spoiled it, I spoiled it, and then I fall in this hole right here, I think I'm going to die, so I take out my ender pearl, I throw it against the wall, so I survive. But I, <laughs> I end up surviving, I just thought I'd throw in that funny little clip right there, ooh, breathe in my mic, oh. Okay, so I end up seeing this guy right here, it looks like he's in his crafting table, or what? I light him on fire just to take him out really easily. And I try to prevent him from falling in the lava there, but I unfortunately knock him in so I can't get his pants. Also, when I killed the guys that were in the dark cave, I ended up getting an iron sword, flint steel, obviously, and pants and boots. So I'm pretty good on armor now. I could definitely survive. And then I'm just talking with this guy in chat. I love to talk in chat. It's just always fun to like mess with people. He's like, oh, uh, top 10. I'm like, oh, congrats. Thank you. So anyways, I of course, I gotta type back. I can't just leave it at that. So I never got this far, but of course I have. <laughs> so anyway, this guy starts charging me, and I put down the flint steel. Light on fire. He monks my flint steel, so I kind of get a little freaked out. I think it's my sword for a minute. So I'm a little caught off guard, so I know I'm just placing blocks like crazy. Anyways, I knock him down, and I'm hitting him repeatedly, comboing him so bad. And then I end up for Alex and I straight towards him and I take him out. He was trying to lava bucket me. He busted me out of soups. So anyways, I end up organizing my inventory, of course. And I see this guy stacking up to that building. So I'm like, okay, I'll arrow him. 
So I know I'm gonna like hit him off, so I don't even bother watching him fall. So then I charge at him. I hit him. I hit him again. 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 It wasn't really much of a competition. Right there was kind of a lag. I'm not really sure. It kind of looked weird when I killed him. But I don't know. There's still two guys in that tower. I try to arrow them. I believe I hit one of the guys. I'm not sure. So I realized I gotta take these guys out. Because I am right at spawn. Oh, I ended up getting the pants from that guy also. So I realized I am at spawn. And they are gonna stack over feast if I don't try and take them out. So I figure out how much time is left. Feast is very soon. And these guys are talking to me in some weird language. I think it was like German or something. Yeah, I think it was German. That's what someone said. So I, in a minute, well not a minute, more like more like 15 seconds. I end up getting some blocks. And I end up stacking up a tree because I don't want anyone to sneak up on me. And maybe I'll make my way to their tower and then just hit them off. But I stack up on top of the tree. I'm looking them in the eyes. Take out my arrows. I don't know how I got that bow. I don't know if it was a rare drop. And there's a feast right there. But somehow, I, oh, there's an arrow straight in his head. So I start getting hit right from behind. And I know it's from behind because there's no way they could have hit me. So I don't know why he would even bother if he didn't have like a good hit on me. Or if he wasn't on the same tree as me. Anyway, bad move by him. And I end up jumping down because he's like pinned down in the tree I see. So I jump down and I start hitting him repeatedly. I'm souping, I'm hockeying. Not too hard of a kill at all. I end up taking him out. So it is me, those two other guys in a tower, and one other. So I end up making my way to Feast. Feast is very soon. And since I believe they are Stomper or Ender Mage, one of them ends up being Ender Mage for sure. But I end up flooding feast. Flooding feast is one of my favorite things to do. It's is a not many people like know this, but um, if you fall onto feast, like when there's one block high of water, you will not die. I'll show you guys that soon. And normally people just flood feast for Poseidon, but really it could be used for so many things. So just flood feast whenever you get to it, and you'll have a huge advantage. Well, not really. Well. What's good is it slows people down, like if Feast is in 15 seconds and someone is on the outside of the water and trying to get to a chest, it'll take them a while to get to you so then you can get a lot of stuff before they actually start attacking you. So you can just get a strength, strength bot and just strength yourself and you'll have a huge advantage. So anyways, I am pretty nervous because I see that they're ender mage so I don't want to get too close and I, I call them rascals. I, I don't know, I just love saying that word. I love the movie Little Rascals. That's probably one of my favorite movies. And they end their maging me up. So I get right in the corner because I want them to hit me off. But they end up doing so anyway. But of course, I survive. But I end up just in case. Because this is actually the first time I like, figured out that like you wouldn't actually die if you fell off really high. So I end up end up rolling away, but it doesn't matter. So, they, and they're really poor sports about it. I'm like, oh, well done. Good job. And they're like, you, you fucking noob. You fucking knob. I don't want to curse. This is going to be a, a PG-13 video. So, anyways, I end up flooding the rest of Feast. Because if they knock me off on the side, I definitely don't want to die. So, I just flooded up the rest of it. Of course, I got to have something in my bucket or else there will be not much of a use. And I put this um, chicken in my hotbar. I don't really know why. But right now I'm stacking up. Because I want to ender pearl into their little base. Oh, I spoil it. I shouldn't spoil it for you. <laughs> well, right now I throw a perfect ender pearl. And I make it perfectly right in there. I take that guy out really soon. And this guy actually fights me off pretty well. He doesn't die. Anyways, I knock him off. He survives, I see. So I jump down on him. Now I'm attacking him, hitting him. But he is fleeing, which I'm really annoyed about. He tries to ender portal me, which really has no reason. Because you have to be... I believe it's three blocks. Three blocks um, away from it. It has to be like vertically. Three blocks above you or below you. I don't know. I'm terrible at explaining. It's going to be a hard time when I'm trying to make my tips and tricks videos. Anyways, he tries to ender portal... Ender portal. He tries to ender portal me, which slows him down, and I'm able to catch up and easily take him out. So I throw away my the chest plate because I didn't want any of them to get it if they were to jump down to feast. But obviously they're dead, so they won't need it. 
So right here I ended up putting cobwebs, which is a pretty big mistake. So the way I was looking at it is if I fell off, I would just conveniently get knocked into the cobweb. So I end up stacking my way up. And luckily I was doing a safe stacking way where you can't get knocked off. So I was not getting hit off and I was surviving slowly but surely making my way up. It takes a lot of blocks to do the strategy, but it is definitely worth it. So I am stacking my way up. I am just about at the top. And I stack up. I'm up here, but he's nowhere in sight. I am very worried. I'm like, oh no, where is he? I think he's like a stomper. I think he like jumped off or something. But I remember my cobwebs. He, so he had an easy way down. He probably just jumped right into it. So I am looking at him. And then right, right here, he's destroying all the cobwebs. And I try to TNT him. Which in hindsight, I should have just jumped on the cobweb right at the beginning and killed him. Anyways, I ended up blowing up the rest of the cobweb, which is a mistake. But luckily, back at feast, I ended up getting that bucket of water. So I just messed with him here. How am I going to get down? Oh no. So I put my water bucket down here. And I take my water with me and I make my way down. I just organize my inventory on the slow elevator ride down. And I jump off because I don't want him to run and I take him out. Look at this. Look at this instant replay. This mad editing skills and i take him out and i win the hunger games well if you guys enjoyed this gameplay then leave a rating leave a comment subscribe if you haven't and prepare for more creative and fun mc pvp videos in the future so subscribe so you don't miss out okay guys thank you for watching bye bye